Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Special life here with Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, we just made ourselves in, we just made our way into this area. Uh, what the heck is the name of this area? I'm sorry, guys. It is the Granini Gorky Lab, first floor, second floor. We got some stuff to do here. Uh, can I eat? Do I have any food to eat? Or is everything rotted? Everything's rotted, that's awesome. I thought I got rid of all of them. Oh, I died. So it came back. Ooh. Oops, guys. I'm gonna eat... Let's try a Russian rat. <clears throat> this is so horrible. It's not touching that. Alright. We left off getting the Oyama. I need to take that off. Go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. We got some stuff to do in this area. We got some treasures. Um, nothing is real. Oh, we got that. That's new. Uh, nothing is really, really new. But we'll get it all in. <coughs> mushroom F. There's a mushroom F. A spatza. <coughs> That, that was terrible. <clears throat> ah, disgusting. Okay, good enough. Can't pull the weapons out when you're when you're in, the, when you're in this outfit. Oh, there's the one for this one. Now you'll probably hear me better. Sorry, guys. Oh. Oh, wait. stuff in there. This is very dangerous, but I'm going to do it anyway.
had to put him to sleep so that I could check everything in here without being busted, so. Alright, ointment, suture kit, serum's bowl. Okay. Bandage. Is that everything? That's everything else. Uh, okay, game, calm down. So we're gonna go upstairs real quick. We don't run anywhere without being able to see where we're going. Okay. All right, got a new silencer. playing with your nose. Alright, well, no reason to be in the bathroom, so let's go ahead and get out of the bathroom. We've got a lot of lockers, let's go ahead and check them. Okay, I think that's Street Fighter, right? Or Dark Stalker. Actually, that's where I wanted to go. Because out here... Um... Oh, never mind. It's not where I... I thought... Okay, that's the easy escape route. Got it. Noodles. Look. Okay, I'm a little confused. Okay. There should be a chocolate chip thing, but I'm not finding the door to the balcony. Oh, because we already got it. So if you missed the chocolate chip uniform, it'll be out. It'll be outside this balcony right here. Okay, so I already got it. That's why it's missing. Got it. Okay, so up here. All right, where is the next? All right, so where is it? There should be a. So where is, okay, so that's cool. Got that problem solved, but yeah. So where is our caratat up here? So we got the one on the second on the first floor, so I 
Ah, so there isn't one on this floor. Got it. Okay. So we're going to go downstairs and we're going to find some more. So we've gotten everything we can here. I don't think I've missed anything. Um, so we're going to go downstairs now. Bullets, that's cool. No tarantula on the wall. Okay, something's wrong with her. You see all the flies? I'm going to go. So oh, that tyrantula on the wall, if you touch it while walking past it, it will bite you. this time. Here's what I'm supposed to do here, but oh, I see this was great. Sorry, guys. What happens when you do this semi-blind?
Am I missing something? This is where I came in from, right? I think I'm overthinking something. Okay, so go over there. I got it. There was a staircase over here, wasn't there? My, my bad, guys. Okay, this place is very easy to be seen because there's a lot more scientists. I didn't mean to do that. That was completely accidental. Kind of funny if you think about it. So what we picked up was a cigar gas spray. Which is one of the few things we can use while in this costume. Boom. Should be something else I'm looking for. Uh, did I miss the lockers? Am I really not seeing lockers? Oh my god, they're right there. Knockout handkerchief. Cool. All right. You can technically run through here and not get into it with anyone, uh, but it's just easier to take them out. All right. We'll probably end it after this video.
If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Put that thing away. You'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Not quite. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between hey, infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves Isn't become the targets of my creation, the they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic shagohan pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fool's in charge. Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The Philosopher's Legacy. Haven't you heard of the Philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, 
We somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now. My money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohan project. Tomorrow they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohan is there too? Of course. Hey, you're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh... This key will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! Charlie's decided to con up here and give me some love. But we're gonna go in a second, it's been a while. Saving the game, Snake? Hey, Snake, have you ever seen Forbidden Planet? No, can't say I have. It's about this expedition that goes to the planet Altair IV in an ultra-fast spaceship. When they arrive, they meet the survivor of the last expedition, Dr. Morbius. 
Dr. Morbius was exploring the planet along with his daughter, Altera, and the versatile Robbie the Robot. Ignoring the doctor's warnings, the expedition team is suddenly attacked by an invisible creature called the Monster from the Id. The special effects they use for the science stuff were really neat. I wish I had a robot like Robbie that could make anything I wanted it to. I'm more interested in that invisible monster. If I were invisible, I wouldn't have to bother hiding or wearing camouflage. Maybe someday you'll be able to turn invisible. Yeah, that'll be the day. All right. <laughs> I mean, you can in in uh, Metal Gear One, I believe, in two. So until next time, adios, amigos.